Hello and welcome from the Steinle headquarters in Germany. My name is Sharon Neuenbauer, I'm the head of international sales and today I would like to give you an introduction of our new true presence a multi-sensor and the new true presence multi-sensor aerosol. So but before I do that I would like to take you on a short journey and show you what actually we believe a true intelligent building should look like. In our vision a building should be similar like a human being. What does that mean? It means a building should sense, think, act, and learn according to that. Similar like us. And what is important? Important are the sensors, the eyes, the ears, and the nose in that building. And that is exactly our role. With our sensors and the different interfaces, like what you can see here, KNX, IP, Bluetooth, DALI 2 or DALI, we control the lighting. But not only the lighting, it is much more than that nowadays. We're talking about heating, ventilation, shadowing, and also security is a big issue. And above that, actually what is coming becoming more and more important are the data, getting data out of sensors. We want to know, were people present in that room? If so, how long, when were they present? How many people were there? What was the temperature? What was the average CO2 level? Just to name a few. This is just to get an idea of what sensors or what data we can get out of sensors and to make analytics according to that. What is our goal? Um, of course, building efficiency. Our goal is to make the building as efficient as possible. But I think you all agree in a worldwide pandemic where we're in at the moment, um, it is more than that. The health topic is becoming more and more important. Comfort and well-being. So we need to ensure that people working in offices feel comfortable, feel safe being there, as well as at home. Health is the most important um, topic nowadays. And talking about health and comfort, um, focusing a little bit more on, on the air quality, we all know, I think we all know the situation still back from the old school days that in typically uh, classrooms, that when the air is getting poor, that you feel headache, you feel tired, and you feel that you cannot concentrate anymore. And all these are results, all these points that you can see here, um, a result from a bad air and the impact that it has on your health and our conditions. And um, what we have done is a small case study here, basically. Uh, as you can see here on the right side, um, that's a typical school day. So we have, um, we have evaluated the, the um, CO2 level in the school class. And school starts normally at 8 o'clock. And we see that within 30 minutes, or after 30 minutes, after 20 minutes even, um, the CO2 level in that room is so high that it has a bad impact on our comfortable feeling, on our, yeah, what we said earlier, on consciousness, on concentration, on, on our just personal feeling. And um, this is a big topic. And, and considering COVID-19, um, this topic is becoming more and more an issue. Why is that? This is something I want to come back to later on. So our mission is creating healthy indoor air. And how have we done that? We have launched the True Presence Multi Center. That is a beautiful sensor. You can see here in the middle. <laughs> um, and not only beautiful, but it's also functional so um, we have the true presence so it's a normal presence detector and of course measuring brightness as a normal presence uh, detector but on top of that we can measure the temperature we can measure humidity co2 voc and air pressure so all these seven values in one sensor Based on, on the cases um, of offices and classrooms, you can see here the ideal values, basically, what we're talking about. Temperature, 21, 22 degrees. Humidity should be between 40 and 65%. The maximum load of CO2 level should be um, maximum 1,000 ppm. Brightness, 3 to 500 lux. And 
the VOC should be low, as low as possible, but should definitely be, be uh, below 100 ppb. So these are all factors for creating the perfect um, indoor air climate, I would say. So talking about um, the infection risk, basically, we're talking about the true presence uh, multi-center aerosol. That is a new CANX communication uh, object. And um, this is based on a calculation of three different levels. As you can see here on this tablet or on the screen, it's, it's just a presentation, it's just an example of what it could look like. We can tell the infection risk in that room. How have we done this? This is a calculation based on the latest studies and with the three most important values. It is the temperature, it is humidity, and it's the CO2 level in that room. And these three factors can give an indication um, risk or an, an indication of how high the risk of infection is in that room. And um, also here's an example of our app. So you can get all the information on your phone, for example. And um, what we have done here is a little like a traffic light, um, just to make it uh, more interesting or to, to uh, that it looks, it's better for understanding. Um, so a little traffic light indicator. So if everything is okay, we have a green light. If it's getting a little bit worse, then it's going into yellow. And if the conditions and the risk of infection is pretty high in that room, it's turning into red. But these are all things you can program. So, and this just to get in, to give you an idea. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, uh, what have we done? So this is uh, the risk of, of infection is calculated on these three values. But, oh, but uh, that was one too far, <laughs> too fast now. Um, but of course, with the indication of if a person was present in the room, or even with the indication of how many people were present in the room, we have a more accurate uh, result. And yeah, if you want to find out more about this topic, please contact me or my colleagues. You can find um, my contact details here. So yeah, that was just a short introduction. And please let us know if you have any more questions. We're happy to talk to you. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.